Hey guys, Blue Dubs here, and uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these kind of videos. Um, uh, with the quarantine and everything, uh, <laughs> I was like, what should I do? So I was scrolling through YouTube, and I found Jinja Ninja Owo. <laughs> well, I mean, I've known them, but I, I love their videos so much. And she uploaded a video, uh, not that long ago. I don't know when it was. Hold on. I think it was... Oh, it was just yesterday, actually. And, um, I found it. And immediately, I was like, whoa, I gotta do something like this. Because it was her randomized Kwame Swap challenge. Where they take the characters and then they take the Kwamis from Miraculous Ladybug and they randomize both of them and then they draw what Kwame goes with the character that they get. And I want to do that but with Boku no Hero Academia characters. And I think it's going to be really cool. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video uh, depending on how it turns out. I'm not the best artist. Because I can't really draw dynamic poses, but uh, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But please go check out, uh, Ginja Ninja. Ninja. I can't, I can't pronounce the name. Anyways, I got the idea from them. Definitely go check them out before watching the rest of this video so you can get more understanding of what I'm doing. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, I think there was something else I was supposed to say, but I have no idea what that is. Um, uh, subscribe, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Like this video. Saying I don't know how the uh, audio quality is at the moment. Um, I'm sorry if you hear like random screaming in the background. My window is open, and there was tiny little children running around out there. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's get on to the video. So, uh, here I have written down all of the characters in class 1A and, um, Aizawa and All Might, uh, as well. Just, just for this one. I pro might make a mar part two if everything turns out right. I might, I think I'm only gonna draw, like, two of these at mo- like, or three at most. Depending on what I wanna do. But these are all the- Kwamis. Um, I don't know that much about a lot of them. I mainly only know about the main ones, but uh, yeah. The one, the one I hope I don't get is uh, Mineta. Not because it's Mineta, but because I can't draw tiny people. Like, I can't draw children. I can't draw kids. Like, I've tried. I have. And I just can't. Uh, but anyways, I'm using this number generator here, uh, between 1 and 22. As you can see, there is more characters here than there are Kwamis. So if I get a number, um, higher than 19 here, I'll just go back up to the top and just count down how many are left over, if you understand what I mean. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be recording my, I mean, I'm- I might keep the mic on while I'm drawing in case I want to say something during it, but I doubt it. But I'm just going to record me, like, outlining it, and I don't know, honestly, what I'm gonna- I, I'll, well, I'm gonna voice it over, basically. But, uh, I don't know if I'll record the sketch, I'll figure that out in editing. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, let's get into this, I'm really excited. Um, let's see. I, okay, I'm hoping for one of like the mainstream characters. Sixteen. Tanya Yira. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna do the little commies. There's twenty, so I'll go back up to the top, and that'd be Nuru. Tanya Yira <laughs> as Hawkmon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can. I oh, I, oh my god, this would be so adorable. Okay, okay. I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, here we are getting into the sketching phase. 
Now before I really start explaining anything that I'm doing, uh, I want to let you guys know that um, this is the second one I did of this. Uh, the first one I thought it just looked off and things and my software was all like sketchy and things and I, I didn't, I don't know, it was just like bugging out and made me move from Paint Tool side to Clip Studio in, in order to finish this piece. But uh, anyways, right here I'm just sketching the body because, yeah, I, I'm not the best at anatomy. Like, I mean, I, I, I lo was looking at references and stuff like that, like every good artist should do, looking at reference. Um, here I'm importing the face of the first one I did because that one turned out and I didn't feel like redrawing the face because <laughs> I'm lazy. But, um, and that was like the only part I enjoyed about the first one, but I honestly don't. I don't know. The first one, I think, I think it was fine. It, it it just looked off, and it made me angry. So I was like, you know what? Who cares? And okay, here I am doing the line art. Now his costume it was sim similar to Ninja Ninja's um, for uh, Nino. That's because I couldn't really think of anything unique for um, Nuru's. Uh, Kwame's costume and Hawk or Hawkmoth or whatever villain hero. I don't know what Tenya would be. Tenya would probably be a hero using the power for good, but you know, it's stereotypical for um, it to be the villain because obvious reasons. Anyways, I'm just getting so off track. Um, oh, I'm here. I'm trying. I can't draw hands. I, I I try so hard, but I can't do it. <laughs> That's like the one of those difficult things for me. And feet, feet and hands can't do those. But um, yeah. Also, making his legs was kind of difficult because Tenya's a thick boy, and the legs aren't my thing, man. Is someone dying. I heard screaming. <laughs> um, here I'm just fixing up the hair because I'm too lazy to do line art for the hair. I'm adding some little, like, coat wing thingies on to the back. Does that make sense? I don't know how any of this makes sense, honestly. I, I'm just trying to be unique, but at the same time, not really, because it's been done, like, the costume is just... It's not that much different from other stuff I've seen. Um, I was obviously going with the, like, or I wanted to go for a little, like, mix between dark and light purples and not just stay, like, one simple tone. Um, I I'm not good at explaining anything, am I? Uh, here I'm adding some little patterns onto his shirt because I thought they looked nice. And it's a nice pattern, I guess. Also, I really like adding little, like, patterns, stuff like that onto things, because it kind of looks cool. Um, in a way, I guess. I don't know what I was really going for for the shirt design, but it was interesting. Um, I added, uh, some butterflies onto his pants, and I was going to, uh, lower the intensity, inten opacity, um, so they're just fairly than enough. Also, obviously I had to add glitter to him because he was like little wingy thingies. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. I'm adding some shading because shading makes the painting. <laughs> um, and yeah. Um, um, blah, 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 I, I really don't know what to say yet at the moment. Uh, here am I, here I am adding, um, fabric kind of, um, effect onto the shirt, and that passed. Uh, I added some just basic circles for background with sparkles, because sparkles, and yeah, um, it's finished. I hope you guys like this, and I'll see you in a second.
so it's like midnight right now. Uh, I redrew that like twice. I don't know if I said anything in the um, voiceover feature me. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm not that happy with that one. I hope the second one turns out better. Um, but yeah, Tenya and Nuru was very interesting. And I definitely want to redesign that later in the future. And maybe upload it as a video. Jesus, someone I think just fell down the stairs. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get on to the second one. Okay, so let us spin for a character. 20. Koji Koda. Okay. All right. Now let us spin for Kwame. Okay, I did not say a thing for that last segment there, mainly because I didn't know how I was going to draw uh, Coda with flags because I couldn't see it at all, but I did it. But I did it last because I didn't know how I was going to do it. So I did a couple before it, and then, um, and then did I, I did Koda's. Because I, I, the entire time I was like, how am I going to draw this? I don't know how to do that. And, oh, car! God damn it. Anyways. <laughs> Here I am sketching out, um, trying to figure out Koda's body shape. Uh, and the, um, how the costume that I was going to make fit him. I kind of made it similar to um, Shats with some mild changing to it, like such as the ears on the mask and the bell halfway down the zipper, but also zipped up, which I don't know how ma it makes sense. But, you know, whatever. It was, like, late when I did this. I think, right? I don't know. I tried adding claws into the feet, but I didn't think that would work, so I was thinking up of, of thinking of a different tactic, like um to make it look like they're claws. So like later on uh those will be colored green. Um I was thinking like I did some pouches on his belt cuz why not? Um and yeah, it's really all I have to explain for the sketching phase. Uh, here I am doing the line art, or, or cleaner sketch, actually. That's what it is. Um, I tried making Koda look kind of concerned, but at the same time, I was try I don't know, I was trying to stick with how, I don't know, I don't know what I was doing with the hand. It's just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so tired. But... Yeah, overall, I think this one turned out decent. Um, if you're wondering why it just showed a colored version of it, uh, there's a part where I cut, but um, I was playing around with the color, trying to figure out what to do. But uh, yeah, oh, I still. Why do people do line art? <laughs> it's such a pain. Seriously. <laughs> Um, but overall, I'm pretty sure this thing, this, uh, the one with the Koda came out really well, um, for, compared to what I thought it was going to be, like, turn out as. I honestly really like it, and I'm glad I, like, um, at the end of the day decided to at least attempt it. And I guess that's what art is all about, attempting things. I'm going to stop right there because I'm not an inspirational person and I'm so, like... <laughs> uh, um, here I am just basic, doing base color because I'm too lazy to hand paint it in. I was adding the des small designs on it so it would kind of make it a little bit different compared to the... Um, one from the show with shot um and 
yeah, there I am adding the, um, like, little claw, it's supposed to be, like, thingies. And here I am doing some shading. Can you guys tell that I am so tired right now? It, what time is it? It's, like, it's 9.30, and normally I get up at 4 p.m., guys. Don't blame me. <laughs> but... I think Coda would be cute as Shat, not going to lie. Oh, I was adding some fabric detail, I was just, I can, yeah, cause you gotta have that, like, close up detail, man, if you look. And I was adding cute little flowers and things to the background because I thought that would be cute. And, yeah. Okay, on to the next character. Who shall we get? Uh, let me render this. Oh, character 11. Momo Yayo Luzu. Okay, I really hope she gets a good one. <laughs> Cause I love it. Oh, it's cute. Okay, if it's 22, it would be 19, 20, 21, 22. It's tricks. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Okay. Um. Okay, so, uh, sketching time. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I'm doing these voiceovers. I don't really bring anything to it. <sighs> Anyways, I was trying to go for a more dynamic pose for this one. Um, I took ages trying to find a reference photo online. You could probably find the same one I use. I don't know. I, I, I... Ugh. Anyways, I, I I think this one turned out pretty good. Better than I thought it would. I like how I designed the costume and stuff for Momo. Um, it's pretty dope. Also, what the heck is with her hair? How does her hair work like that? Can someone please tell me? Gravity? <laughs> um, or a lot of hairspray. I might. I'm sorry if you can hear uh, my sister in the back. I was gonna add a tail, but then I was like, furries, no. And, <laughs> um, I added a skirt, like, in her hero costume. And I still made it kind of revealing, because it's all, all I could think of um, that would really make it hers at the same time making it like different ish and i think it turned out well about here um i took like a couple days off because i got tired um me lazily copying the ears because i didn't feel like redrawing them <laughs> um i think this is the line art i'm doing right yes it is um, I don't know why she looks, like, concerned while she's in that badass pose, but, you know, power to her. Um, bleh. I, I'm still trying to work on hairlines and stuff like that because I really don't get how they work. Like... I mean, I do get how they work, but I just don't know how to draw them. That's why I always do, like, bangs or, like, hair covering up the face. But then there's characters like Momo who forces me to have to step out of my comfort zone. Uh, <laughs> um, I made sure to add, like, a little crop sort of deal to the outfit also because, you know, I feel like if she was in Miraculous Ladybug and still had that sort of like open area they wouldn't want the open area uh so i was trying to make it more pg like momo i get it you pop stuff out of your tits but like cover up and you can make your own shirt later on <laughs> we don't need to have hun we don't need to have like another freaking Season two, no, that was season one. Season one, I don't know where I'm going. 
Damn, I really wish I could make, like, objects out of myself. Can she make food? I don't remember if they respond. I don't think she can. Any inanimate objects. You know how I could make my own cosplays and that'd be so dope. And even better, it burns calories. So I could just make a bunch of stuff and then I'd be skinny and then I can just eat as much as I want to and just create a ton of shit. Uh, I mean stuff because I'm child friendly. Uh, am I though? Um... I decided to, I made it like a more like earthy tone orange rather than a bright ass orange. Why did I have I suddenly started like cussing a little bit more? Maybe because I'm slowly getting bored of the normal human language. I don't, I'm just, can someone help me please? <laughs> but uh, anyways, I think I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of this one. Uh, the post came out way better than I thought it would. Um, I still gave her that flute thing, uh, that, um, Rana Rouge has, because, uh, Volpina, had... ugh, also, I like, uh, I like the hair, I had to do, like, the whole ombre thing that they did with Alia and, um, Lila, uh, I decided to add shading finally to the hair and everything um and then i was just finishing up the whole piece with a background which took me a little too long to figure out the settings for how to make like a burst of light sort of deal but i i tried but yeah, I think she came out pretty decent and i would love to see momo rocking this in either Miraculous Ladybug or Boku no Hair Academia. Like, please give us a crossover. <laughs> okay, and, and that's all. Hey guys, uh, sorry, it's, with all honesty, it's been like almost two weeks since I did the last one. Mainly because I got a little lazy, busy, and all that stuff. Um, but I'm ready to jump right back into it. Um, the other ones have turned out decent so far but um let's hope this one's a good one so let us start seven toru hagakure and what shall she be because this is gonna be an interesting one because she's invisible so i don't know how that's gonna work i'll figure it out 18 I, how do you pronounce these names? Like, can someone tell me? Where are they? Okay. Teleportation and invisibility is going to be very interesting. How is this going to work? <laughs> okay. I might just treat this one as a mini small one, like just maybe make some gloves or something. I don't. I honestly have zero clue how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this. Cause okay, um, I'm just gonna think for a second, but uh, I'll see you guys in the. I don't. I I'm brain farting. Just in a minute okay so starting this off I s tried sketching out like basically what I think her body shape would be based on like their outfits and things uh, I did include that and stuff like that because I mean I don't know because she may be invisible but she still has a human like form also I don't mind the creaking of my chair um I was trying to figure out how I would. Jesus Christ, I. You know, I wish I had a mute button for my siblings, because that'd be great. Why is she up this time? I mean, 9 or 10 isn't exactly early 
but come on girl at your age I slept until like 8 o'clock p.m. um but I decided to try to go with a more simple design uh, and based off of the Kwame with how uh, they have the white parts on the legs uh, so this is just me planning out the colors like I I didn't I, I I'm not gonna cut it out because I don't feel like it uh, I was just sending it to my friend for um, like help on it um, I don't even know what this pose really is but she be doing something I don't even know where my competition's at anyway. um I was trying to make like the whole cape ordeal kind of like um the horse's tail and everything but like in a less noticeable and subtle way um mm. but I and I obviously the glasses I needed <sighs> but in total I'm pretty sure this, I think this came out better than I thought I was going to um the color and costume is very simple but I mean sometimes simple is better um Again, me being lazy and copying, pasting things, and using sh circles and stuff. Um, I think the easiest part of all this is the base coloring because I'm really lazy and so I just use a fill bucket for everything. Um, I, mean, I was adding more circles there because um, obviously you need the whole like miraculous like time system thingy magic something I don't know uh and uh so super shady don't think oh yeah there I am shading the boobs cause she, she got bazongas and I added some like little circles and stuff so it's me like like um a day later I think I, I don't remember I've lost track of time okay <laughs> um but um it's me about a day later and I'm finished with about four of these ma mash oh my what is going on outside it sounds like there is like a UFO or we're gonna ignore that if the world ends while I'm filming this then so be it um but yeah I finished all four of them and I think for the most part, they turned out pretty decent. Um, and we got some mashups that I didn't expect. Um, but I do like them. And I definitely want to do this again. So, uh, so the first one is Tenya and Nuru, as you saw. And then there is Koda with Plag. Oh, I didn't put the... You know, I'll do that later. <laughs> I was gonna put, like... Um, the how I have here where it says Tenya plus Nero, I was gonna add that here, but I forgot to. I must have, anyways. And then we have Momo and Trix, which is very interestingly adorable. And oh, I forgot to do it here as well <laughs> Toru Hagakure and uh, Ki, Ki uh, oh, Jesus. Hold on, I gotta remember. Kauki? Is that? I think that's how you say it, but I'm not entirely sure. I. <laughs> but yeah, so we have all of those, and I think they turned out swell. If you guys want more, um, please leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. I'm probably gonna do more of these anyways, so um, hasta la vista.